Hey, 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 happy Thursday. Okay, let's dig in. So yesterday we read our verse from Ephesians 6, 11 that tells us to put on God's whole armor. The armor of a heavy armed soldier, which God supplies. Of course, that's from the Amplified Version. There's a lot in this that I want to unpack. First, put on whose armor? God's armor. Remember when we talked last week about Saul and David? If we go back to 1 Samuel 17, um, verse 38, it says, Then Saul armed David with his armor. Um, the Hebrew says he clothed David with his clothes. Now you know that's covenant talk. That's a covenant exchange. That was part of the um, covenant ceremony. When two parties cut covenant, there was an exchange of clothes, an exchange of armor. And so this was symbolic of covenant um, with Saul and David. That Saul is saying, here, take my armor. Well, in the natural, that sounds pretty good. And I mean, it's the king's armor. It would be going forth into battle with the king's armor. But... David hadn't proved that armor. And so Paul is telling us here to put on God's armor. Be in covenant with God. And he says God's whole armor. So if you are fully clad in God's armor, is there any room for anybody else's armor? Is there any room for us to lay trust on anybody else. And see, I, th I think that so many times we read, <laughs> we read quickly or we read to check a box that we read it or we know the scripture or we know the story when if we take just a piece of it at a time and allow the Lord to just open it up for us, that this put on God's whole armor is almost like... <laughs> Don't have any other gods before me. Don't have any other gods besides me. I am it. I'm all you need. Take mine. Complete it. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. There's nothing left. There's no, there's no holes. Be in covenant with me. Let me be your God. And instead of us taking maybe the breastplate of righteousness, but not the loin belt of truth, or taking the helmet of salvation, but not the shoes of peace, getting our shoes from somewhere else, <laughs> shoes of chaos and confusion. No, thank you. But do you understand that it's whole and it's complete? And when we put on God's armor, when we choose to clothe ourselves in his clothing, he takes care of it all. That to me, it's just... Full and reassuring that he has all the pieces that I need and that's what the next part of this verse actually says to me put on God's whole armor the armor of a heavy armed soldier which God supplies so to the writer here that this is put on God's armor a heavy armed soldier so those those pieces of this armor are not just um, outward clothes or, you know, something for show, but they are intense weaponry, heavy armed. These are not just, you know, water pistols or BB guns or paintball guns. This is heavy, heavy armed. And you think about the pieces of the armor we have the loin belt of truth. We have the breastplate, breastplate of righteousness. We have the shoes of peace. We have the shield of faith. We have the helmet of salvation. We have the sword of the spirit. And then Rick Renner talks about um, in verse um, 18 that, that praying being like a lance. So that would be seven pieces of armor, and they are, um, we are heavy armed when we go out in that. 
just think on those things today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, y'all.